Assalamu alaikum my dear students, hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIBS Home School. This is Muhammad Indadul Haq, Assistant Teacher of Mathematics, National Ideal English Version School, Basin. Dear students, today I am going to conduct a math class of class 2. And this is our fourth class of annual term examination. Our today's subject is Mathematics, Place Value Part 1. This is our today's topic, term is annual, lecture 4 and no homework given from our today's class. Okay, dear students, as our today's topic is place value part 1, in this part, I will show you how can you determine the place value of the digits of a number. Uh, I have written three numbers here and in the half yearly examination also, uh, I have taken classes on this topic. Dear students, so you can follow that class also to learn this. Dear students, at first you, to, you have to know what is place value. Place value means the value of a digit in a number according to its position is known as place value. So, we can say suppose here I, if I write a number 24, here 4 is a digit, 2 is another digit. If I write here 5, 5 is also another digit. So, this is a number now. Here, the value of 5 is 5 and value of 4 is 40 here as 4 is in tens position. So, if we multiply 4 by its position, then we will get the place value of 4 that is 40. So, as 5 is in ones position, if we multiply 5 by 1, we will get 5. So, 5 is the place value of 5. Now, 2, in case of 2, we will get 2 is in 100's position. So, we have to multiply 2 by 100 to get the place value. That will be 200. That will be 200. So, if we multiply a digit by its position, we will get the positional value or place value of that digit in the number. Okay, dear students. So, let us see, I have written here three numbers, I will show the place value of the digits of these numbers, ok. Now see, first one, first one is 8975, so we can indicate the position of the digit here, this is ones, tens, hundred, thousand. So, we can say, we can start from one, as this is five ones, so we can write here five ones. 5 ones that is 5, 5 ones that is 5. Now 7 is in tens position, so we can write here 7 tens, 7 tens. So we have to multiply 7 by 10, we will get 70. If we multiply 5 by 1, we will get 5, multiply 7 by 10, you will get 70. Then next digit 9 is in hundreds place, so we can write here 9 hundreds that will be equal to, if we multiply 9 by 100, it means 100, we will get 900. So, 900 will be the place value of 9. Now, last digit here, last digit is 8, 8 is in thousands place, so we can write here 8 thousands. So, if we multiply 8 by 1000, we will get the place value of 8 that will be 8000 that will be 8000 so we can write the place value of 8 in this number is 8000 okay dear students i hope you have understood how to determine the place value okay dear students now let us see the next number next number is uh, 7508 so 8 is in ones place 0 is in tens place 5 is in hundreds place, 7 is in thousands place. So, we can write here 8 ones. That will be equal to 8 multiply by 1, that is equal to 8. Then 0 tens, 0 tens. As 0 is in tens position, multiply 0 by 10, you will get 0. If you multiply g any 0 by any number, you will get 0. So, you can write here only 1 0. As this is in tens position, if you want, you can put another 0, you can write 0, 0. Now, uh, 5, 5 is in hundreds place, so we can write here 500s. 
500. So multiply 5 by 100, you will get here 500. So we can write here place value of 5 is 500. Place value of 5 is 500. Now the next digit is 7. 7 is in thousands position. So we can write 7000. So if we multiply 7 by 1000, we will get here 7000. So 7000 is the place value of 7 in this number. Okay, dear students. So I hope you have understood the second one also. Now similarly, I will do the third one. Here third one is 6 is in 1's place, 6 is in 10's place, 6 is in 100's place and 6 is in 1000's place. So we can write here 6 1's that is equal to 6 multiplied by 1 means 6. 6 multiplied by 1 that means 6. So this will be changed. 6 multiplied by 1 means 6. So we can write here 6. Then next 6, 6 is in tens. So we can write here 6 tens. That is equal to if we put here 6 into 10 means 60. Now if we put here 6, this 6, 6 is in hundreds. So we can write 6 hundreds. So multiply 6 by 100 you will get here 600. So you will get here 600. Now go to the next last digit that is 6000. So you can write here 6000. Multiply by 1000 you will get here 6000. So 6000 is the place value of last 6. So this will be 6000. Dear students, I hope you have understood how to determine the place value of the digits of a number okay dear students so uh, practice this at home uh, more and more and learn yourself dear students keep practicing at home avoid by your parents stay home stay safe see you again till then assalamu alaikum